published 1619 EDT, the 9th of August 2017 updated 1619 EDT, the 9th of August 2017 U.S. President Donald Trump at his New Jersey golf course on Tuesday warming North Korea's threats would be met with fire and fury the United States is speaking out with a unified message on North Korea, the U.S. State Department insisted Wednesday, playing down divergent comments from President Donald Trump and Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. Whether it's the White House, the State Department, the Department of Defense, we are speaking with one voice, said State Department spokeswoman Heather Nauert. And the world is, in fact, speaking with one voice, and we saw that as it came out of the UN Security Council with the resolution that passed less than a week ago approving more sanctions against Pyongyang, she said. She was speaking after Trump warned North Korean leader Kim Jong-un that he faced fire and fury over his weapons and ballistic missile programs. Trump, enjoying a working holiday at his New Jersey golf course, went on to boast that the U.S. nuclear arsenal was more powerful than ever. As tensions on the Korean peninsula flared, Tillerson took a very different tone, insisting there was no immediate threat from North Korea. Nauert said Trump's remarks fit into a pressure campaign to force North Korea to back off from its nuclear development and further missile tests. That campaign is working, she said, adding that Trump and Tillerson held an hour-long phone conversation after the president's comments. Let's consider what is alarming, she said. What is alarming? Two ICBM tests in less than a month, two nuclear tests that took place last year. Sorry we are not currently accepting comments on this article.